Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. As you can see, I have a different background. Uh, I'm actually filming this in the evening and usually I film in the mornings and I have my backdrop up, but I didn't want to do that today because I'm just going to film this video and then I'm going off to watch TV or something. So I didn't want to bother to put that up, but I think maybe this is a good background maybe I will film with this background in the future as well but anyway welcome to my channel as I said and welcome to this video I'm really not sure what I'm going to call this video but something like makeup products that don't excite me so this is basically products that like categories in makeup that doesn't really excites me so the first thing I want to talk about is primers. So I think primers is, I don't have to use it, but <laughs> I think I use it like every day, but I don't have to do that. So basically what a primer should do, uh, first of all, is to make your makeup last all day and la make it last longer and so on. But I just think that, like all these, I have tried a few primers in different, in different categories and I can just say I don't feel like, how should I explain this? I don't think they are that different. If we go for example the these primers that will like uh, blur out your pores, these pore filler primers. I have tried like high-end and drugstore, but I just f feel like they are giving me the same result in the end. So that's why I always go for the drugstore ones. But I have to have them in my collection, of course, uh, but they don't excite me that much. Another thing I have to have in my collection that I don't like to uh, buy is brow products. I, of course, want my brows to look good. And if I find something that I really like, I usually stick to that. So I don't like... I don't go out and searching for new brow products. I'm, I'm not that interested in that. But actually one brow product uh, that has caught my attention and that I was really, really curious about and excited uh, was the Benefit. It was this pen from Benefit. You know this... Um, click pens uh, like the retro I had one when I was younger that's why I say it was retro but these pens I will leave a picture up no maybe over there so I will leave a picture up here how it looks but it's this pen you have like different clickers or what do you say like you have different shades that's what I'm trying to say and you click on that and the shade just pops out and it was a really cool idea and I was very curious so I went to Sephora here in Sweden just to check it out and see if there was something in my shade maybe that I maybe should buy but I didn't buy anything because first of all it was super expensive uh, and second of all, I didn't find a shade that really matched my brows, what I like to have. So, and maybe they will come out with new shades or maybe I will pick up a shade that they already have. I don't know. Well, I was really excited about that. So that's what I was trying to say. And another thing that is something I don't like to go out and just find a new one is actually eyeliner and I like those liquidy eyeliners because I'm not good at doing this winged liner I always have um, I'm not good at that so I need a product that will help me do a good job and I always think I mean those um, eyeliner that looks like a pen is really really great because the tip is always very pointy and that makes 
uh, it's very easy to make a winged liner <laughs> or like not a perfect winged liner for me but it, it makes it easier trust me and now I have this from elf so this is more like a pencil like uh, like an eyeliner pencil very soft and that one is good as well but something I'm not good at it's uh, the gel liners I know a lot of people like gel eyeliners but I just I'm not good at that it always looks messy when I do it I think I have to practice a lot to make that work but so I just go with my old ones uh, that I know it's easy for me. And now another category that I'm not very fond of is actually setting powders. I know a lot of people love them and they want to try new ones and they want to try new brands and all that but I'm not. Actually I haven't used setting powders for so long I think just I think it started last year because I like the more dewy look. I don't like the matte look on my skin because I'm 37 now and a little bit older. I think the fine lines you have in your face show off more if you use powder and especially these powders that really make your skin look matte and powdery and I don't like that and before I actually just took like a under eye setting powder and just put that where I put the concealer so I didn't put that all over my face but now I actually have a really great setting powder uh, if you watch my channel you know I love the Hourglass Veal Translucent Powder that makes my skin looks like skin it doesn't look matte but it it sets really nice on the skin it melts into your skin and it looks very like uh, it blurs out everything very nicely so I really really love that and I actually use that every day and I am going to be sad when that is finished because I know I have to buy a new one and it's pretty expensive but I know I'm gonna repurchase it so yeah I just have to live with that and as I said before mascara is something that I am not like so blown away with uh, I don't have any mascara or I have not tried any mascara that has like blown me away maybe my eyelashes is not that great so maybe that's why I haven't been blown away with a mascara but I have one now that I actually like and it's the Lancome Hypnose mascara I know it's a high-end mascara I'm not blown away with that either but it's better than the other ones. I can't be excited about mascaras because they don't do that phenomenal job on my eyelashes that I just gets really blown away so that's what I'm trying to say so mascara is definitely that category that I'm not excited about so I think this is a very negative video <laughs> I can feel that now so probably I have to do a video very positive after this and I think let me see here <laughs> I just have one more thing Thing on my list and it's setting sprays so this is a category I really need in my collection and uh, yeah I really really need it because when you have done like a makeup look that you really like I mean you have to set it to make it last all day so basically I really have to have the setting sprays but I'm not that excited about new setting sprays. I have the Urban Decay All Nighter and I really love that one. That's a good one. But now I have the MAC Fix Plus. It's not as good as the Urban Decay one, I think. And now I have a new one, actually. It's the Pixi Rose Glow Mist. So that's more like a glow mist with a setting effect. So you can spray it like before before you put on your makeup while you have your makeup on and after you're done or yeah whenever you want 
and I'm not blown away with that either. So I definitely can say that my Urban Decay All Nighter is my all time favorite. So I think this was it guys. Uh, I haven't filmed this look but I've used the certified tropical palette. I just got it so I'm testing it out and of course there are gonna be a review and two looks one palette on this but you have to stay tuned for that because I haven't filmed it yet. So I'm really glad you were here and watched my video. If you liked it uh, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos and please comment down below if you have like a category in makeup that you're not excited about and maybe something you are excited about I have a lot of things that I'm excited about so maybe I should do a video more like a positive video with that uh, but as I said don't forget to subscribe I really hope to see you in my next video so take care bye